Welcome to the English Language Arts and Math 3-8 through Testing Guys webinar. The first portion of this is the English Language Arts. The English Language Arts assessments are all based around the shifts, balancing information on literary text, knowledge in the disciplines, staircase of complexity, text-based answers, writing from sources, and academic vocabulary. For a quick overview, all questions will be based on close reading of both informational and literary text. They are drawn from authentic, grade-level works that are worthwhile to read. The question formats include multiple choice, short answer, and extended response. Page 5 of the Educator's Guide includes what it means to use authentic text. So, authentic texts are published works that are typically encountered by students in daily life. They are worthy of reading outside an assessment context. They may be emotionally charged. They use language outside of a student's particular cultural experience. They may include intentional and unintentional use of correct grammar and spelling. And students may have encountered the text before the test, either between the teacher instruction or personal reading. Grades 3 through 4 testing sessions and times there are three books administered over three days for a total of 150 minutes estimated time on task. Each testing day needs to allow for 70 minutes for completion. In grades 5 through 8 testing sessions and times, again, three books over three days with a total estimated time on task of 180 minutes. Each session needs to allow for 90 minutes. When the students have completed their test, the proctor will encourage the students to go back and check their work. When the student says they are done, the examination materials need to be collected by the proctor. The student may be permitted to read silently, but there will be no talking and no other schoolwork is permitted. For the question formats, the multiple choice questions will have four answer choices based around central idea, style elements, character and plot development, vocabulary. The students will need to comprehend and make use of the whole passage and they will be required to negotiate plausible text-based distractors. For the two-point questions, they will be using a two-point rubric, the textual evidence to support their own answers to an inferential questions. Students will need to make an inference, a claim, position, or conclusion based on their analysis of the passage. They will need to provide two pieces of text-based evidence to support their answer. Their responses should require no more than three complete sentences. For the extended response questions, you will be using the four-point rubric and writing from sources. In grade three, the comprehension and analysis of an individual text, they will need to state a position in support with text-based details, which is different from grades 4 through 8 where they will be using either an individual text or paired text based around theme, genre, tone, time period, or other characteristics. These students will need to state their position and support with text-based details. They will also have to put it into coherent essay using textual evidence to support their ideas. The state has provided sample questions for all grades 3 through 8 and they are available at the following link. The two point rubric for short response and note that at the very bottom if the prompt requires two texts and the student only references one text, the response can be scored no higher than a 1. The four point extended response holistic rubric. In note, these four characteristics combined make up the focus of the four point extended response task, writing from sources. So they need, they will be looking at content and analysis, command of evidence, coherence, organization and style, and control of conventions. Condition code A is applied whenever a student who is present for a test session leaves an entire constructed response question in that session completely blank. No response is attempted. So that 
under that constructed response, it's totally blank. This is different with a score of zero, wherein the student does not respond to part or all of the question, but that work results in a score of zero. So they've written something, but the teachers, we cannot find any points for it. That's a zero. Grades three through five test blueprint. We have all the grades and what I want want you to be thinking about is having the teachers look at these because it gives the area of focus and the approximate percentage of points along with the reading points with key ideas and details, craft and structure, integration of knowledge and ideas. And here is the 6 through 8 test blueprint and the setup the exact same way. The grades 3 through 4 test design what this is giving you is on day one what book one looks like, day two what book two looks like, and day three what book three looks like. Note on day three as we're looking at it you're not seeing multiple choice. It's the short you'll see short and extended. Day two you're going to see some multiple choice and short and extended. Also note the number of literary passages and informational between four and seven for each. Grade five test design set up the same way and note the number of passages four through eight for literary, four through eight for informational. Grade six through seven the number of literary passages is four through seven and total of informational passages anywhere from seven to eight. In grade eight the literary passages, there's going to be anywhere between 3 and 8 and informational 4 to 10. This is an excerpt from Ken Wagner's me memo of the 2014 grades 3 through 8 educator guides. This is some of the points that he made. I just wanted you to have access to it and it's the stuff that is already in there. Thank you.